Oh, good afternoon, everybody. How's things? Uh, oh, I thought I wasn't going to make it for a minute then. I sort of needed a little bit of double-sided tape. And I had to run around finding some, but it's all good. Got everything. So, all right, here we go. Friday. My goodness me, Friday already. It's, time's flying. It's, uh, yeah, time to do something a little bit different, I think. So, you see here, I've got um regular tile. It's a um, bright white one, but again, you can use whatever you like. I'm going to mix it up a little bit because I'm going to bring in a uh, half tile as well. I know we've got a lot of those and I've been showing you what you can do with them. But I'm going to use it to sort of um, work in conjunction with this tile in a moment. So, of course, because I've got the blue, you know that we can use the white pen on it. So I've got those lying around as well, just in case. So oh, <laughs> I did run <laughs> to the other side of the, <laughs> the office and back. So what am I going to do? Firstly... I am going to put a little bit of tape on my half tile on the back of it just because I want it to sort of stay put. So there we go. And if I just line it up with the tile there. So we've instantly got sort of two colours. I know that one's a little bit bigger than that. So that's absolutely fine. Here we go. So there we go. Oh, so, here we go. I'm going to start with... I'm going to start with my pencil and I'm going to put some dots now I'm just going to use this just as a regular tile now so it's not as though I've got two different colors and I'm going to go sort of quite close to that edge there now you you're going to want to do this really lightly because you know you might decide you don't want to have the border in a little while or you you, you might want to keep it it's, it depends how you go so what I am going to do, I'm just going to join those dots, create myself a little bit of a border. There we go. go straight over the two colours. And there we are. And straight in with this one. Here we go. There to there. All right. Now, I know normally we would draw this by hand, sort of freehand going straight down but when when i'm doing a bit of a grid formation sometimes it's nice to keep it sort of straightish so uh, yeah it's not it's not so bad okay i'm going to do the same again now i'm going to make um, a little bit of a frame here but you see this one it's a little bit sort of wider there if i sort of put my pencil in you can see it's a little bit wider than my pencil just uh, so you can get the idea of how wide it is Okay, same there. And then of course, I'm gonna just join that one to this one. There we go. All right. Um, I am gonna sort out the um, tile swap over the weekend. I know it's been a little bit of an issue this time for some reason or another. And uh, I'm still on the case. I did go actually go to the sorting office the other day. Um, not that that got me anywhere, but I did go over there. So it's another email to the business centre guys because I know that a lot of you have sent your tiles in and some have either been sent back. So please don't worry, I'm, I am on the case. I'm sure we'll get it sorted. But, uh, what I will do later, I will photograph all the tiles I've got and let you have a look at them please if if it's not there please don't worry i'm so sorry um but what i'm going to do is when we do the uh, next tile swap hey the next one then i'll give you a different address and we'll send them elsewhere so then i'll know that i'm going to be getting them i don't want to have to risk it again so we'll uh, we'll sort that out at some point but yeah i will get them in the post on monday it'll just be nice just in case any do arrive um, later today or tomorrow. I, I didn't want them to miss out. Okay, here we go then. So I've got quite a wide frame. Then I've got a narrow little gap and then I've got another frame here. And then I've got a little bit of a square-ish shape in the middle. All right. Okay. So I'm just going to go a little bit larger so you can see. Now what I'm going to do is Really lightly, I'm just going to sort of draw in a bit of a grid. Now, this is not going to be seen afterwards. So, don't do it too dark, especially on this white piece. 
So you see there, I'm just starting with those corners. All right. And then let's do it this way so we can see what I'm doing. I'm going to split that section into two. And then here, I, I'm not going to go one. I'm going to split this as well. So I've got two lines there. So I've got three sort of sections. Same here. There we go. Don't have to be exact. It's just giving it an idea that it's about right. So then same here and same here. All right, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then if I turn it round again, and this time you see, same here, look so. I'm treating this as one complete tile now, two different colours on it. Ooh, so. Now the actual sample I did with this is only one colour tile, so I'm quite excited myself to see how this is gonna turn out. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right then, are we ready? <sighs> Deep breath, we've got this. Okay, so coming in with my pen, regular pen, and I'm just gonna make it a little bit larger. There we go, because we're gonna work down one side. I'm, I'm starting on the right-hand side here, and I'm gonna start in this top corner here. And you might sort of wanna do the same this time. It's just sort of follow me, and we'll see where it leads, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go diagonally, but I'm gonna create a bit of a curve, all right? And then, Again, a bit of a curve. Right, and there. Oh yeah, that navy and red is really nice. We, uh, I'll say we, Leslie and I picked the colours. And we're like, yeah, Leslie was like, oh, you've got to have the navy. And then the red, she doesn't want to give, she doesn't want to share that red with anybody. No. Okay, now stop here, because I'm not going to do that in this one. I'm going to turn it round and then I'm going to start again. Same curve, same curve, you see? All the way down. Just from one bit to the other, all the way down. And then stop there and turn it round and same again. Okay. Keep that curve going. It doesn't have to be a sharp curve. And then, of course, when you come on to your colour, it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> oh, she's like that, really. You know, she comes across all nice. And then before you know it, she's nicked all your cherry red tiles. <laughs> there you go. You don't have to be crazy to work here, but it helps. <laughs> I know, Margarita, it is lovely, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so you can see here, let's just have a quick look at where we're at. Uh, for those of us that come, that come a little bit late, I've I've used a half tile and a full tile. Now, if you've got two half tiles, that's fine, but you can see I've, marked, I've got the full one there, and I've just added a little bit of tape just to hold that in place. I then created a large or a wider frame, a very narrow one, and then a slightly wider one than that. So you've got three frames going on. We've split the outer frame up. So we've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces across. And then we started in this corner and we've created a curve down, then turned it, curved down, then, <laughs> no, <laughs> okay. So that's as far as we got. We're all talking tiles now, it's funny. <laughs> okay, so. Working on this line again then, what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to come in with my pen and I'm going to join that one to that one there. And on the other side, I'm going to join that one to that one there. Okay, so you've got this sort of wave kind of flag shape almost. And then I'm going to leave this one and I'm going to create the same thing in that one there. And then I'm going to miss this one out and then I'm gonna join that one together. And then I'm gonna miss this one, and then see I'm in the corner, so I'm gonna draw in that corner piece. Okay. Then I'm gonna miss this one, and then I'm gonna join this together. And then miss one, and then join this one. 
miss one and join this one and there you see I'm back in that corner so here we go I'm going to just join that corner together there and then miss one and then join this one here and here miss one join here and here and then miss one again here and here and then of course I'm in that corner again and then pull that one in, miss, and then join, miss, join. And I think if you actually do this in your head or you even speak aloud, you sort of get that the idea. You see, I'm not going to join that corner because I've got one here. So I'm going to leave that one. Okay. So let's have a look at that. So we've got this sort of funny kind of line kicking off all the way around. Okay, so we've got a bit of an odd one here. So let's just come on in. I'm just going to join that one there and join that one there. Just so it's, you know, it's got like it's a solid object, isn't it? So working my way around, they, they're all way inclined. That's okay. All right then. So working in the spaces now that are left, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, you know, you might want to just sort of watch this first. Just going to create a line and then another going down the middle like so. I'm not going to do one from that, although, yeah, I'll come back to that. Turning it round, I'm going to do the same again. So here we go, this sort of line all the way down. There we go. Okay, now let's have a look at this. Yeah, so you're going to see a little bit of it there, aren't you? Just underneath, kicking in there. And then turn it round. And then same again. Here we go. Just going to go down here. There we are. And same with this one. And then, of course, looking at the next row. Let's just work that one in. So we're down here. And into this one. And of course, you don't have to use a line here. You could sort of do bubbles, big bubbles in there if you wanted to. But uh, sometimes it's quite nice to be a little bit different, isn't it? So, okay, let's have a look at where we're at with this. Okay. So you see we've got this sort of full straight shape here. What I'm going to do from this bottom edge, I'm just going to bring it in. There we go. Let's just touch that. And then bring it in. Same here, bring it in. Let's turn it round. Same again. I'm even going to work with this one here. Look, I'm just going to bring that one in. And in. And in. And then turn it round. And then in you go. Each time. And last row. Now let's bring that one in. There we are. And even that one there. Okay. So let's have a look at this end here. Now we've we've done this curve on this end, so we're gonna do this same here. Just gonna take that one up. Okay. There we go. Turning it around. See that one's sort of already there, so let's bring this one up and round. Up and round. Okay. <laughs> Lindsay, oh I know, yeah, he did it. He got the tile on. I was I was shocked, I must admit. I didn't expect somebody to get that tile in that quick, but to uh, to get it on shown on TV was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm impressed. Alright, so let's have a look at this. Okay, so here we go. Oh we'll go back. Bit smaller. Oh, Julie, you don't worry about it. So again, you know, so sometimes you might sort of think, oh, it's not quite worked, but you know, there's always a, a way around it, isn't it? And it's it's fine, even if these are a little bit shorter or sharper. You're just going to get a slightly different kind of wave, and that's absolutely fine. It it's not something that you want to be really sort of stressing over. It it's 
it's here for you to relax. I'm just going to aura in that space there. You know, just where we've got that frame left. I think it's, uh, you know, just uh, work it round. Now, even if you think, oh, it's nothing like mine, or you've got different sizes, or the curves are not, you know, we're going to make this work. Once you've got some pencil on, and we've got a little bit of three dimensions going on, plus you've got other things that you're going to add on top, so don't, don't worry about it at all. It's all right. Oh, no, it's a nice border. Do you know, I say it does work really well if you put bubbles in instead of the pole, but I wanted to do a few extra things as well. So it's just a nice one to do. Certainly as a row, as a, I mean, a real from top to bottom border. You know, like for a bookmark, that'd be quite nice. And then, of course, you could go to town and you could turn this ribbon into, I don't know, a tartan ribbon maybe. Or you could use a different tangle on it to create something a little bit more elaborate. It's, a, it's quite a nice one to sort of work with. Okay, so we've aurored in all those spaces. So I'm going to go ahead and do the aura on the inside spaces as well. There we go. Just going straight over both colours. Now if you wanted to, and you, you, you could even, um, you know, use a... A white pen on the blue instead of the black one that I'm doing so you could have a complete contrast you could have black pen here white pen here so um, that would be quite nice especially I suppose if you're using a, the darker blue or maybe you're using a black but you know if you haven't and you're going with a single tile then I suppose you could use a, a single tile and ink over the top. So, uh, there are options. There's a reason why I've used blue anyway, so you'll see in a little bit. Okay, so there we go. All sort of in. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, if I have, yeah, I'm going to just swap to a, a heavy brush, a little brush pen. Because what I want to do with those little spaces that I've just created is I'm going to just fill them in. Now, again, if you wanted to, you could, you know, you could fill these with another tangle. You could use bubbles and all sorts. <laughs> bubbles on the mind today. But I'm just going to go ahead and just sort of colour them in. And just using the brush just means it's, it's a little bit quicker and, and less pressure on my... Small nib. There we are. Okay. Let's just get that corner up. There we go. And just work around. You see why now you, you didn't need to go in dark with the pencil. It was just about having a, a bit of a construction line just to help you out a little bit. Okay. There we are. Just going around. Now, of course... You could go in with a, a a heavier pen, but you see here where it's just gone over a little bit, I can come back in with that fine pen and just sort of neaten it up a little. So just on that edge there. And there we go. If you want to. I mean, you could even uh, bring in a different colour here if you wanted. Or you could go um, maybe blue here and white at the top. There's Lots of options, isn't there? Sometimes there's so many ideas, you just think, I can't possibly get through them all. So where's that going to go? But there we are. So. Are we liking these half tiles then? Have you, uh, have you given them a go yet? Have you made a card or anything with them? They're, uh, they're a really nice sort of quicker tile if you want to. And of course you can double them up and change the uh, size of them you know and they're really nice <laughs> well it's you I know focus girl come on there we are now just making my way around so it's quite a regal border isn't it <laughs> I'll go read it but uh, it's uh, it's a nice one Margarita's actually uh, 
done a new piece of artwork and she's used quite a lot of the stencils sort of mixed in together. Maybe even some of the new. So uh, I'm sure at some point she's going to actually post it so you can have a look and see if you can work out which, uh, which stencils she's used to create this particular image. It just shows that they all work together beautifully. Uh, it's well worth a look if you get a chance. Okay, here we go then. So, what have I got so far? So I've got this lovely little border. And it's nice to sort of kick that one in. It's really nice, isn't it? Won't we shade it, it's, uh, it's going to be uh, different again. So we'll work on that in a little while. I want to now come to this one. I'm going to leave this one completely. And I'm coming to this inner, inner frame here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a line straight down there in pen. And then I'm going to... Add in a wider piece there. I'm just going to fill that in with my, my narrow pen. There you go. And then put a narrow one there. Okay. And then next one, I'm going to come and put this one on the end. Let's add in a slightly thicker one there. Just to fill it in. And of course, if you've got a thicker pen here, you could swap between the two. Okay, let's put one in the middle there. So I've got sort of the middle. So I'm just going to add in that thicker one there. All right, and then one here, one here. Okay. So then I can get another one in the middle there. So you see it's all about just splitting up the area that you've got. And then, of course, I'll get another one in there. Now, if you want to put more in, you can do these slightly narrower and uh, fit them in as and where. Okay. And then this one here. So, same again. There we go. Ooh. Try and follow the lines a little bit. That's why they're there, Sandra. Move it to there. Okay. And this one here. And just filling that bit. How different it is on the white. What a contrast between the two, isn't it? It's, uh, it's going to look a bit different, this one. It's, I'm hoping it's going to work out anyway. <laughs> I've, got, I've got plans for it. There's a reason why it is as it is. So, uh, we'll see. Okay, there we are. So, just putting that one in there. And either side, okay. So, oh, Lindsay. Yes, of course. Um, if there aren't any on the website at the minute, I can update that because I've just printed some more this morning so just to uh, the create and craft of uh, sent me some more orders through so hopefully Hermes is coming today anybody that ordered um, during the day on the show then they are all packed Whee! and all ready to go uh, it's there are some more orders that have come in probably from watching a bit later on uh, they will go out on Monday. They, all the dispatch notes are printed out and everything's on the shelves. It's just got to, <laughs> we've just got to get it in the packaging. So <laughs> it's, uh, that'd be quite nice. A uh, bit of information for you, actually, because there's a job I've got to do this afternoon, actually. Um, I'm sure that you've all heard of Diamond Dots before. Yes, well... Um, They've uh, they've got some of my artwork, and at the moment they are just doing the packaging for the new Dreamcatcher Diamond Dots. Now you've heard it here first; nobody else knows about that. So I'm really excited. I have actually seen a mock up of it, and it looks beautiful. It's um, if you've not got the Dreamcatcher, it's beautiful. It's oh, it's sort of done in like a orange and lemons. Uh, and it's if you look on the packaging, if you have got the Dreamcatcher, the the main image, 
it's uh, it's been reproduced as diamonds. <laughs> so um, can't wait for that to come out. I don't know when it's coming, but as I say, the packaging's in production. So uh, that means that obviously we've got some get for the get go there. So as soon as I get one, I'll I'll be posting. There is uh, there is one other diamond dot out there that I've got, and that was the I don't know if you've seen the original coloring books I did. It's um, it's an eye, and it's very steampunk based, but that is uh, a diamond dots piece. It's all blues that one. There we are. So you see, I've just now coming around, and I'm just adding in that line, so I've got a very definite border around this one and because I've got smaller sections to work to I can sort of almost join the dots it is Elaine yeah the uh, the eye one is but then the dream catcher is based on the one that we've got stencils for so yeah I'm excited for that one it's lovely the centre of the dream catchers, all done in gems, you know. Oh, it's just beautiful. Yeah. There we are. Okay, so now something you can do here if you want, you can leave this one without the lines if you want to. But I think I'm I'm actually gonna come ahead and, and join in. Now if you wanted to sort of have it where it was just a, a, a flow of ribbon, then I wouldn't have put this section in and then you wouldn't draw the rest of the, the, the framing but again that's something that you can explore a little bit uh, Joanna no I won't be selling them they'll they'll be a, a direct diamond dots product I think though we've we have had a, a few conversations I think they'll be putting them on creating craft because I did say that if that's what they're going to do I'm happy to go on and uh, you know do the demo bit Certainly, but, but uh, it's my artwork they're using, so they, they're quite happy with that. So we'll see. Who knows what's going to happen and how long it's going to take? Because um, you know, it's, these things they, they take time. That should be good. There we go. So I'm just uh, Chris. Yes, they are the one done with the other ones done with gems. Oh, there we go. Done, done, done. Let's have a look where we're at so far then. Okay, so we've got sort of two borders really there. Once we actually, you know, put a little bit of pencil on them, they're going to sort of quite to change quite considerably. But for now, I want to ha have a focus and work in this centerpiece here. So what on earth are we going to do? How is this going to work? Just for now, I'm going to change over to my white pen. Now, if you've not used different colours in, you've just got a regular tile, I'd go ahead and I'd do this with... Um, with a pencil to sort of start with. So here we go. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work from this side here. I'm just gonna add in just a little bit of a, a sort of a sort of a curve, but not. See? Let's go a little bit larger there. Sort of a little bit of a, a line there. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna come in. And you know we've talked about using gel pen to fill things in before. You just try and take your time with it. Go over quite slowly. Again, see, once you've gone over it, don't go back over it because you're not going to get the same lines. Now, if you are using one colour and you're just doing pencil, you obviously you don't need to colour this in. I just want this to be the same as this one here. So I'm going to come in again. I'm going to go a little bit taller this time. Okay. And then just as before, I'm just going to put that line in. Just gonna fill it in. There we go. I wonder if you can imagine what's coming. Yeah. Alright, so just taking it nice and steady. Just filling that space. So that when you, your gel pen's working, there's just something about using a gel pen to colour in. It just sort of co covers it so nicely. There we go. It's almost there. 
Okay, so you can see it looks like you've got a little bit of a landscape going on here. Absolutely, yes, absolutely, a cup of tea's arrived. Now, of course, you've got to be aware of this because it needs to dry before you can actually draw back over it. So we just want to be a little bit careful of that. What I am going to do, you see, oh, not with the brush, though. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. I'm just going to come on in with the pen. I'm just going to bring that down a little bit so I can see that I've got two separate ones. There we go. So I'm going to work in the top area first. There we go. So just to sort of get us going with it. I'm just going to add a little dot. Now you might want to watch and see what I'm doing here because it's, uh, it's sort of going to be quite small and you might sort of want to shape it a bit. Even if you think, do you know what, before I do this I want to um, you know, do it in pencil, see how it goes. But I'm just going to create sort of almost a bit of a, a cloud maybe. There we go. Right. Okay, yeah, white clothes. Bit of a cloud there. Let me put the wrong way around. Okay. And then let's have another one here. There we are. Okay. Just really not overdoing it, you know, just keep them small. And uh, you want to try and keep the shapes, if possible, <laughs> random. <laughs> there we are. Maybe a little one there. Okay. All right. So if you wanted to, at this point, um, you, you could make it rain if you wanted. If we actually used, um, you know, the one that we have, the, the wavy lines and the dots, which would look quite nice. But because I've actually got... A bit of a white thing going on here i'm not going to have rain i might actually add a little bit of snow in just in a while but if you wanted to then that's that's how you would do the rain and you could do it coming straight down you could do it at a bit of an angle but just sort of like lines and dashes and dots that would be looking really good oh a lovely cup of tea okay so can this is giving this sort of time to dry off a little bit which there we go has done all right, we're we ready for this. Now, when we're actually doing some sort of scene, um, what you have to remember that you're looking at this is quite far away. Imagine this is huge, this, this sort of mountain, and we don't really want to overdo it. So we're going to do a very, very little set of lines there, we see. And then I'm just going to put a little roof on the top. Okay, and then I'm just going to add in some little, almost dots, really, really tiny. Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay, oh, so sweet, isn't it? See how small it is, but you've got to do that. If it's too big, it's going to look a little bit too close. Okay, and of course, because it's quite a distance away, you... Um, you're not going to see a lot of a lot of detail, hence we're just doing a very, very simple couple of lines, little triangle on the top, a couple of little dots, okay? All right, let's add in. I'm just going to put another one in. There we go. You see this one's a little, a little touch bigger than the ones further up there. There we go. All right. So let's add another one here. So they're all sort of dotted around this mountain. There we go. And then let's have another one here. I'm going to make it this one a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. All right. Look, a little bit of a <laughs> village on top of the mountain there, but... Of course, they look at the moment like they're floating, but we've, we've done no shading yet, so don't, don't worry about it. Leave them floating in midair, it's absolutely fine. Okay, so let's come in a little bit more. So, of course, we want to add a few, um, a few trees in. Now, a tree can be smaller than the house, so it can be, I'm going to go a little bit larger. And this is where you've got to make sure that, um, you know, your white pen's dry because you don't want to, 
Why am I in the way? Okay, so here we go. Let's put a tree in there. It's got a bit of a line. I'm going to put a little bobble on the top. See, it's gone over that house, but that's fine. And then I'm going to loop it around. Loop it around. See, it's going to go behind that one. There we go. Bit of a tree. So, as we sort of build up this little seam, it's all going to sort of, some of it's going to merge into each other. There we go. Okay. And then let's have another one. Another one here. There we go. Just adding a little loop and wrapping around. Now, we have done this tangle before, we've used it as leaves. But you can see that I'm just sort of creating a similar thing, but you know, doing them straight up like this, it just gives them a little bit of a. Let's have a look. Oh, it doesn't want to move. There we go. <laughs> a little bit of a design there. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at this bottom section now. Now, of course, this is in the foreground, so we can go a little bit taller with our trees okay so let's have a bit of a loop on the top and i'm going to come this way first it's going to create that little loop and then we're going to get a little bit bigger a little bit bigger there we are just working through one to the other there we go and then the same here just Working it round. See, that's going to get wider, so it's going to go slightly off the page there. All right. Let's have a look at that together. Okay, so let's just put another one in here. So this one's going to be slightly further back. And then let's just, again, loop. Let's do this one first. There we go. And then the same here. And you can decide if you're going to just keep going all the way underneath. I'm going to sort of, if I meet one, I'm going to stop and it's going to go under, see? See, I don't want to get it too mixed up. Okay, <laughs> Margarita, I am not putting a reindeer in my scene. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> no, not even a zinger. No, no. Okay. What I am going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of shading. Um, we could put more trees and things in, but I think I don't want to overdo it. So, okay, here we go. Shading wise, the first thing we need to do is just to give that tree there a little bit of a base. You see when I've put a little bit of shadow at the bottom there, I still need sheep. <laughs> I'm just going to bring this one, see a little bit further and then just sort of, zigzag it down a little bit okay so you've got a little bit of something where it can sit on it there we go all right and then let's just add some pencil i'm just going to use swirls just down the edges and then just maybe a little bit you know on these larger pieces at the bottom here just maybe on those larger sections there add some pencil Okay, oh, no bubbles. I've got sort of swirls. <laughs> okay, so then same here where we've got this sort of line coming down. I'm just going to add just a little bit there. Just, you see, working its way along. And then, of course, these little houses need something to sit on. So a little bit of a line there too. And then I'm going to add just a little bit just on the bottom edge of my clouds see there we go okay so <laughs> stop arguing over reindeer and zingers goodness me <laughs> okay so pencil around the uh, on the inside of that frame you see there and there turning it round so again, you notice I'm keeping it fairly straight this time. So there are no swirls here. It's just sort of up and down, back and forth. Need sand. <laughs> uh, you know, we can still have snow and it it's not Christmas. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, so I suppose this could be quite nice as well. You know, if you um, you had different colour tiles, maybe you had two or three different colours, or maybe you did decide that you were going to ink it. There's uh, lots of options, isn't there? Okay, so here I'm adding shadow or, or pencil either side. Either side. Just like so. And then on the inside here, I'm just going to add some here and here. Here and here. Okay, so you're getting sort of almost a bit of a pattern together there. Let's add a little bit there as well, and then a little bit either side of that sort of little frame inside there. Okay, there we go. So the same again. So I'm going to add a little bit there, look. So it's a little bit in the corner. Okay. <laughs> oh, Maureen. So you know, I used to be in a band. Uh, I can remember we did a tour of uh, Germany one year during the summer and uh, there were two youngsters on the, the bus and they brought that video with them and my goodness me, we uh, yeah, we, we sort of knew the script by the time we'd finished with that one and then of course we never thought anything more of it and the conductor, when we came to start doing the the, <laughs> the Christmas sort of uh, section he pulled out this uh, particular piece. He's like, yeah, we're doing it, whether you like it or not. So we uh, we did end up doing it in a, uh, at a Christmas show. Mm. So something like that. You know, since, uh, since moving the, up to Doncaster, I've, I've not played in a band. So uh, not found one yet. And, uh, yeah, I used to enjoy that. Really enjoy it. It was great. Okay. You see here, just going around and adding in these little bits of pencil. If you're not quite the same as me, don't oh, worry about it. It'll all work out. There we are. I'm just bringing in those bits there. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. Mm. Right, tortillon. Here we go. I'm going to use this. Before I bring in my white pen, I'm going to do all the shading, I think, with the pencil. So again, just down those tree trunks with a swirling effect. There we go. And just on those sort of bottom branches, I'm just giving it that little hint. Of course, it would also look nice that if you did a little bit of a blue pastels, maybe. A little uh, difference. Oh, no, really crazy, isn't it? It's, yeah, we've uh, we played in a few cold areas. It wasn't always inside, but we, we didn't sort of march. But we did play at Chatsworth a couple of times. See, I'm just softening that up a little bit. And then, of course, around those little clouds there we go i'm coming back to those in a little bit so don't don't think we've finished with that so here we go with this one i'm going to move back and forth up and down and the idea is i'm going to soften them off but i don't want to touch the center i want to keep that nice and clear if possible <laughs> all right same in here and this one I suppose at least we didn't have to sing when we were in the band. Too busy playing, so yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. It's, uh, I was with them for quite a while, actually, a few years. All right, there we go. So it's just softening that edge. We've got that lovely sort of highlight in the middle, which we're coming again. We'll do a little bit of work on in a little bit. A little bit. So just let's just soften that edge up there. Let's do these first. Okay, so you see here look I've just got a little bit either side. There we go. And again just touching that. 
And then this one, I'm just going to sort of follow the line a little bit. You see? So again, I'm not filling in the whole sort of shape with the pencil. It's all about keeping that contrast and just trying to maintain a little bit of light in there. Okay, same with this one. Just make sure when you're going over that one, it's sort of works together. See, it starts to come alive on this one. Look where it's bright white there compared to the blue. There we are, little bits. Okay, same on this. So again, I'm not trying to cover the whole space there. It's just about leaving a little bit of a highlight. Okay, I know it's because it's Friday, it's what it is. Absolutely. And the, I, I thought this one was quite an easy one to do as well. Anyway, maybe I'll have to bring you a harder one on Wednesday. <laughs> Let's see. Do you know what? Some people find them really easy, some people find it hard. It's uh, entirely up to. Untangling. <laughs> Do you know it's it's starting to sound a little bit like here in the in the warehouse once we we start to get packing. You know, if we've been here for a while and we've been packing till quite <laughs> quite late, yeah, that's this is how, this is what happens as we start getting a little bit of hysteria kicking in. All right, so let's have a look at where we're at. <laughs> oh, you have to have a laugh though, don't you? See, so, yeah, crazy. Okay, so I am going to bring in my white pen, but I've also got my white, well, I hope I have, yeah, got my white chalky pastel pencil as well. I think it needs a little bit of that, so here we go. First thing I'm going to do then is let's add a little bit of white just onto the top of these um, little uh, clouds. Now, of course, if you're using a white tile, or if your tiles, you know, one of the regular cream ones, then you might not need this, or you might want to use, I don't know, a bit of, bit of blue maybe or something. But it just sort of gives it that little hint, doesn't it? And sort of the same on the top here. I'm just going to add a little bit of whites on the top there. And the same here. So you see now why I wanted to use a coloured tile on the top. Just gives it that little hint that something's uh, going on. There we go, and a little bit over some of the roofs there. Okay. And then, of course, we can come in and add a couple of snowflakes. You know, it's just thinking about starting. There we go, I'm not going to overdo it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so, okay, so let's just add this highlight down the side. Now, you're still going to go over it, even if it's on the white of the paper and it covers the black pretty well as long as your black's dry so just sort of bear that in mind if you haven't got the white chalky pencil then don't worry about it use a white pen you know your gel pen will do just as good a job but, uh, it just definitely needs that highlight over that black okay so look at that go so I'm not gonna use a tortillon to change that in any way I'm just gonna leave it so I'm just gonna strengthen that highlight up a bit there so I've done a couple of rows let's have a look at that okay and because I've got it and because I am working on a darker color and just down here too there we go so and again just a little bit of a highlight just on those there there we go and then down this one and just down the line there. see I'm not don't really need it there because at least you've got your white highlight in okay and then all I'm going to do and again 
ever so gently I'm just gonna soften off just those little little bits see nothing major I don't want it to sort of be really in your face that one I want it just to sort of sit and uh, be there but not be sort of like the most noticeable thing you see so okay <laughs> Here we go. Um, if I just do that so you can see where it's all at. I think what we also need to do, I'm going to come back in with, <laughs> with the pen. And what I'd like to do, I just want to come back in and I just want to add a little bit more weight to this frame here. So I'm just going to, you see, I'm just going back and forth. I'm not pressing on. I'm just sort of giving it a little bit more thick. Now, if you've got a thicker pen, that works really well. You could do that. Okay. And then just follow it round. Just want it to stand out a little bit more than it is. Okay, you see, just expanding it up a little bit. See the difference it makes just by, you know, Adding a little bit more pen in there. There we go. Into this one as well. Okay. Just turning it as I go. <laughs> I don't know. Just think it's March and spring. We should be thinking spring like and all sorts. And here I am doing a winter scene. Do you know it just worked that way? It wasn't that I thought when I planned this, oh, I'm going to do a winter scene. It just sort of worked that way. So here, I'm just going to add a little bit of weight to the sides of those as well. You see, just so we can have that coming to the foreground. There we go. Let's do that one there, look. And that one there. You see the difference that makes just by sort of bringing that forward? So there we go. Same on these. Just following that line down. Now, if you don't quite, you know, get it in the same place, it's fine. Just adds to it. You see there, that was good. Bit of weight there. Okay. Oh, this would make a nice Christmas card, I suppose, wouldn't it? It's not meant that way, but... Now, I did, um... I did do a card on Crate and Crafts, was it the second show where I did the fairy and I did the tile from book three. Now I did say that I would be giving that one away and what I've done, I randomly picked out somebody's order and I've actually put it in with the order. So um don't think I'd forgotten it, I hadn't, but um, I have put it in with somebody's order. So... <laughs> If you get it, great. If you don't, okay. Um, all right. Woo! Oh, I'm, I'm, do you know, it's lovely. I'm really pleased with that. I really like what's happened there. I think what we do need to do, and again, it's just when you look at it from, you know, a slightly different viewpoint. So just around this edge here, I think I'm going to come in with the white ever so gently. Now, you could do this with the, the pencil, the regular pencil, if you want to. But just being that it's you know a little bit snowy, I just want to add in a little bit of a maybe a bit of a shadow there. You see, and I, normally I'd use a clean torty on, but it doesn't really matter for this because it's going to mix a little bit with some uh, pencil too. So just going to soften that up a little bit. You see, almost done. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so I think at that point, I'm going to say that that is done. My goodness me, it's... Uh, <laughs> I'm really pleased with that. I mean, there's a lot you can do with it. I mean, imagine doing this in different colours, maybe, or using black and white, or, you know, doing it in a sepia tone. You could even cut this out and you could put your own little picture in to make a frame and things. But 
do you know what? Sometimes when we can't draw, just doing these little things and these little gestures really make the difference. And you, you must, you know, you look at that. Uh, I know, Lorraine, and that's fine. It's, uh, yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed that one. I am actually going to sign it here in the picture, I think. So there we go. Tile 118. Or is it tile 118 and a half? Because we used one and a half tiles today. But yeah, do it your own way. Do it how you wish. But uh, yeah, it gives you a couple of different frame designs. A little bit of a picture in the middle. And something a little bit... <laughs> I know, a little bit different. I'm ever so glad you've had a lovely afternoon. Um, <laughs> really, really am. It's been lovely. I've missed half the conversation because obviously I was doing the drawing. Um, but now, have a good one. What I will do, as I say, I will put the tiles out that I've got that I haven't photographed so far so you can see who's where and where they're, they're at. Uh, and of course, anybody that missed out at this point, I'm so sorry. As I say, when we do tile three for the tile swaps, we'll be looking at a different address. So, um, yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> OK, so have a lovely weekend. Enjoy this one. Have a, have a good time with it. Uh, see how it comes out and uh, let me know. All right. You take care, everybody. Have a lovely one and I'll speak to you. Oh, I'll be back on uh, Oh Wednesday. Gosh, seems like ages away, doesn't it? But yeah, I will see you all on Wednesday. All right. Bye.